hi and welcome back to my channel as you can probably tell by the title this is going to be my moving vlog today is the 4th of july and i am moving house tomorrow i'm moving into a two-bed house and i actually go to loughborough university in case you didn't know and i study media and communications so yeah i am actually going into my final year this is actually my first year in a house as well i thought i would do a little moving vlog just to bring you along i'm doing it the day before because i actually need to collect the keys at 10 o'clock tomorrow and it usually takes about an hour and quarter to drive there but with morning traffic i'm gonna have to set out about eight ish so i'm not gonna have time to really talk to you much in the morning so i thought i'd just do a little intro now and i've had to like literally balance you on the bed and find a not messy corner because there's just a lot of stuff in this room <laughs> and it's kind of stressing me out how much i need to pack but yeah i thought i'd get this out the way first while i'm looking presentable and then we'll get to really packing everything so yeah i feel like it'll be so nice just to move into a house i feel like it's going to be a totally different experience to student halls but i'm so excited to vlog it but yeah my contract started on the 1st of july which is why i'm moving like so early because um uni won't start till like end of september early october but if i'm paying for it i might as well be living there so i'm going to be back and forth a lot this summer so i really hope this year is going to be a good year i have just had a year out as well which a lot of people do so I've still got like a lot of friends and stuff that are on my course that are like joining back together this year so it's gonna be good so yeah I just really can't wait to vlog it there's gonna be so much more different content coming and I really want to get loads of videos out and also on my TikTok I'm gonna be uploading loads of different videos as well so make sure to check that out but yeah I don't want to make this segment too long and go on for too long so I'm gonna end this here but yeah let's get to moving hi so it is officially moving day my car is fully packed I've actually got so much stuff in here I don't know how it's all fit but I've got plenty of room as well so I was really happy about that I was kind of stressed that I wasn't gonna fit everything in but touch wood it's been fine um i've just got to sainsbury's car park because that's where i'm meeting my friend i am like quite early it was actually quite a nice drive here to be honest so yeah i think while i'm waiting for my friend to get here i'm gonna pop into sainsbury's and just get a drink i might get i'm feeling like orange so i might get an orange lucasade they're the best by the way um so yeah i might pick up one of those because i haven't brought myself a drink and i'm like my mouth is dry and then once she gets here we're gonna go pick up the keys and then yeah drive over to the house so that is all to update you on really also i reverse parked because basically i was because i got all my stuff in the car and we're gonna walk over to the office i was like oh i'll park it out the way and then hopefully no one like breaks into it so i've parked like out of the way like near no one on the back wall <laughs> and then i was like oh i'll reverse park and then like you know it'll make it easier for me when i go out as well um it literally took me three times to reverse park and there's like so much space around me I, outside the house I mean, it's like parallel parking as well if i need to parallel park it's i'm actually done for because i can't park i think i'm a good driver but i just can't park and i think it's because as well like in a fit five well i think all fit 500s i don't have like the reverse beepers i know we're tiny but i would just like the the reassurance that i'm not gonna like back into something so yeah, I guess I'll have to learn, but I thought, you know what, we're going to reverse park, we're going to practice it a bit. Yeah, let's go in Sainsbury's now, and I'll probably catch up with you later when we've got the keys. Okay, so this is the new house. Literally just dumped everything in here because we're not unpacking yet, but this is what it looks like. That fireplace thing looks so old, and we thought we had a TV, but apparently we don't. But yeah, this is the living room. We've got two big settees and a little one. And then a little bit of a dingy cupboard, a bit weird, but we've got a hemory. And then this is the kitchen, not too bad, it's really big. And we thought we had kitchen chairs, but we don't know where they are, so we've got a table but no chairs. Plenty of storage, a little oven, dryer, washer, fridge freezer. And then, I'm not going to open up here, but that's another little downstairs loo. Door to go outside. We've got such a big garden, which is really nice. And then we've even got little garden furniture as well, which is handy. And a mirror in here. I think we're just gonna go to B&M now just to get all the essential bits, because I think we actually need to get quite a few things. And yeah, I'll show you upstairs later when we actually start unpacking. But yeah, we've got two bedrooms and then we've also got a spare room, which has 
two desks in and an upstairs loo as well. So yeah, we're gonna go to B&M now and I'll probably show you what we buy when we get back. We have sorted most of the kitchen. Got the kettle in, got the Alexa in. Coffee, sugar, tea. We've got so much storage as well. Like we don't even need to use the majority of it. Got all of my cleaning bits in here. From B&M. One toaster. And then this big bag is gonna go into these when they're dry. Frying pans and saucepans. Cutlery with a drawer from B&M. And then spaghetti is also gonna go in these. And yeah, plates and bowls in here. And food in here. Mugs and glasses and more food. I am actually coming to you from my new bedroom. I haven't really picked up the camera much just because we've been so busy. Like we went to B&M, got all like sort of essential house things. We bought a bin, a toaster, just like everything basically. And then we went on to Aldi, got a little bit of food shopping. And then we went to Tesco, got a little bit more. And then I did actually show you the kitchen. So we've basically sorted all of that, which looks all good. And yeah, I'm just quite done in now. I've literally just dumped everything in my bedroom. I haven't packed anything away. I made my bed. Um, I'll show you what my room looks like in a minute. There was actually like, this room is actually slightly better than the other one. Just because I'd say it's a little bit bigger and just like the shape of the room is better. Well, we asked Siri to choose a number between one and two and we both chose a number and it got mine. So I got quite lucky and got the slightly better room. It's got so much space in it as well. I swear it's bigger than mine at home. The time is currently quarter past five. And I think the plan is, we got the things to make a spaghetti bolognese for tea. So we're gonna do that at like six. And then we're just gonna go out to Weatherspoons just for a couple of drinks. So I will redo my makeup after. But so this is what my room looks like when you walk in. Got the big double bed here. There's not much room around here but yeah that's pushed right against the window got a big garden as well and then furniture so we've got chest of drawers and a big wardrobe but the only problem i've got with this room is that there's two plugs and they're right behind the wardrobe like i had to move the wardrobe out the way i've put an extension lead on there so that'll just have to permanently stay plugged in so i can't really charge anything from bed but you know what it's fine and then i've got all this space here so yeah, I'm thinking of maybe buying a big like freestanding mirror to go there and then just enjoying the space. The only thing is, look, there's a massive iron stain there, which is kind of annoying. I don't think I can really get anything to cover it because it's like right by the bed, but yeah. This is what it looks like from my bed, like literally so much space. I feel like it's going to be really good for filming videos as well. But yeah, I think we've done really well in terms of getting things sorted. Like, we got the keys at literally dead on 10 o'clock. It took two minutes to collect them. Went and drove here straight away, got everything in. Obviously went to all the shops, had lunch, sorted the kitchen. But I think that kind of wiped it out of us. So, because we also had to clean the whole kitchen. Like, we cleaned all the drawers, all the cupboards. We cleaned it all because it wasn't looking the best. And yeah, I just need to unpack everything. I think I'm going to leave majority of it for tomorrow because... We've basically done everything. Um, I think we might be going to Asda tomorrow to get an air fryer, maybe. But yeah, other than that, we don't have many plans. We need to actually wait in for the Wi-Fi stuff to arrive as well. So I'm going to make this into a bit of a two-day vlog because we're basically moving in like across today and tomorrow. So I thought I'd just make it a little bit of a longer vlog. And yeah, it's been good so far. I'm really happy with the room. Not going to lie, we couldn't really remember what the whole house looked like that much, but. Yeah, we're quite happy with it and I will either catch up with you when we're cooking or at Spoons. Hey guys! Is this filming? Is yeah. that filming? Uh -huh. Welcome to my vlog! I'm just in Emma's room right now. She's unpacking all her, all her stuff. And I'm just chilling. Ow, I just can't stop looking at myself. Oh. We're cooking spag bowl for tea, except apparently we've got a gas cooker, gas hob, and the ignition wasn't working, so we literally had to run to Sainsbury's to get, like, a lighter, because we could not figure it out, and, well, we figured it out now, and it smells good. <laughs> Bye. 
our first meal in the new house and it looks good. <laughs> We've just come out for one drink at Weatherspoons. Hannah's already finished hers. <laughs> and then we're gonna pop to Tesco and literally go back to the house. Hey guys, we're in Tesco. Hi guys, so it's now actually Thursday. I've literally put you in a cupboard to film this, but the time is currently half nine. I woke up at about half seven, but I've just had a bit of a slow morning. I just watched a YouTube video and Hannah isn't up yet. She won't be up till like 10 at the earliest. So I thought I'd go out on a little walk. And then I was also looking online for mirrors for my room, because I don't know if I said this, but I want like quite a big mirror for my room. And I also maybe want like some sort of storage basket or like cube or something. I was going to just go on a walk, but I thought I might as well walk to Denel because it's like about less than 10 minutes away. And yeah, I thought I might just go and have a wander around there, see if there's anything nice in there. Obviously I'm not going to buy a mirror now, but I can get inspo and see what I want. And also I've been looking at them on lighting, but like obviously it's kind of hard to tell with measurements. So I kind of want to see if there's any there in person and then I can get an idea of what measurements I need. I've got my hot girl walk outfit on and I've got my headphones ready to go and a podcast. So I'll catch up with you later. I have just got back from my little walk in Denam trip. Not too successful because I only saw one mirror that was like kind of suitable and it was really small it was a 15 pound one i think it's not too bad really for a, like a long mirror i'm looking for something a bit bigger than that like a bit wider um i also saw i've been looking for like a rope white storage basket and it was actually in the bathroom section and there was a small one it was a small round one and i looked at it online and they also do a large one i couldn't find it in the store so i might have a look at that online see what the measurements are because i want that for my bedroom I just, I don't know, I just really want one. Also a salt dish in there for two pounds. I almost got it, but then I was like, nah, I'll have a look, because I think we're gonna go into town today. I'm just gonna make myself coffee, because basically the Wi-Fi stuff is coming today, so we need to be in for when it gets delivered. But yeah, so we don't know what time that's coming yet, but we also want to go to Asda to get an air fryer, and we also need a microwave. I don't know if I said that, but I found that the cheapest one is at Asda as well, so hopefully we can get both of them. And I think we're going to town to do a bit of shopping. We're going to look in the charity shops because I feel like you can find some good like decor bits in there as well. And Primark and yeah, not sure what else, but basically yeah, we're just going to go out and spend more money today, basically. Yeah, I'm just going to have a coffee now and then... I'll probably have a shower, which I haven't used yet. I'm kind of scared of it, but hopefully it's all right. But obviously it all depends what time the Wi-Fi is coming. I'm, I'm kind of hoping that like the time range that they give us isn't too long. Like if it's say like 10 till four or something, that's gonna be really annoying. I will catch up with you when I'm doing something later. We have secured a microwave, but no air fryer. Sad times. <laughs> we have secured a brand new microwave and we're having these heck, what are they, sweet chilli chicken sausages for lunch because they were reduced on a cup. Mm. Yum. And look at these house coffees. I made them. <laughs> So it's actually been a while since I last spoke to you. It is now Friday, five o'clock. Apparently it's a free day vlog now. But yeah, I'm just gonna start getting my makeup off and I've got a cup of tea next to me. I thought I would catch you up with what's been going on since I last spoke to you. Cause I think the last time I spoke to you was when we got the microwave from Asda. So we got the microwave, no air fryer. And then in the afternoon, we just popped into town. We wasn't there long because we were kind of looking for decor and stuff in the charity shops but none of them really like stock that sort of stuff 
Um, but we did go to Primark and I'll show you one of the things I bought because I got a denim jacket in the sale for £10 which was my little bargain that I found. I didn't go in like wanting to try anything on or anything. So I got that for £10 and I also just bought a little candle for my room. So this morning, oh and then yesterday I had to do some work. It was just like a long day basically which is why as well my room is in the exact same tip that it was when I moved in like I have not well I have touched stuff because I've just got stuff out so it's actually gotten worse I haven't like put any well I've put one box away I think because basically, I don't know what I'm kind of waiting for because I got like obviously the shelving unit do you call it that with like the four drawers but I'm kind of a bit like I need some organization I feel like I maybe need to get some storage but really I just need to get everything put away and storage can come later if I want it. It's a really big wardrobe but it's mainly hanging stuff and I didn't bring any like hanging stuff with me. So this morning I did actually film me cleaning all of the garden furniture because I knew today was going to be a nice day and I thought well we'll probably want to sit outside and it was kind of like very cobwebby and eh so I cleaned all that, scrubbed all that down. I was thinking about the windows as well, but, but I had a meeting then at half 11, so I had to have, like, have a shower, wash my hair and everything. So that was all that. And then this afternoon, we haven't really done much. We went for a walk around the park. And then now, so yeah, it's five o'clock now. So I'm thinking, plan is basically, Uber Eats sent me a like discount code because I have a grocery section now and it's for £15 off when you spend £25 on a shop. The only real like good place on there is Iceland. So I've saved a few things to my basket that I want. Basically all freezer stuff obviously. Um, and then that will just stock up the freezer for a bit. So I'm either going to eat first and order that. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Um, to be fair they might be closing but... Yeah, it doesn't really matter if I don't do it tonight. But tonight I am actually also going to go to Aldi. I haven't planned any meals past today. So actually I'll tell you what I'm having. So tomorrow I'm going to have like spicy rice and halloumi. Because tomorrow morning we're going to go out to Toby Carvery for breakfast. That means we'll have like an all you can eat buffet. So we'll definitely be very full up off that. And then on Sunday I'm just going to have something out of the freezer. Like whatever food I order from Iceland. Monday, I'm going to have fajita, fajitas? fajitas with the leftover halloumi. On Tuesday, I'm going to have a chicken pasta. I feel like this is a lot of chicken, but what else do I have? And then on Wednesday, I'm not sure if I'm in for tea or not, so I've just put freezer food down again. So there's not too many things I need to get from Aldi, but I'll show you that when I go there later. I don't think I've actually shown you like the full house. Like, I've, I've shown you my room a bit. Um, but I haven't showed you the spare office room and I haven't showed you the bathroom so I'll show you those as well but I'm thinking of getting a really big like one of them wide freestanding mirrors I mean I don't really mind splashing out a bit of cash on it because obviously it's for the full year and I'd probably sell it at the end of the year I'm also keeping an eye on Facebook marketplace in case anything nice comes up on there but I don't want to wait too long, I guess. And I'm also kind of thinking about a rug maybe in front of it. Just to fill up the space a little bit more. I don't know what like colour theme to go with in this room as well. Because obviously I've got like sort of oak furniture. Which I feel like is kind of tricky to match stuff with. And then the little basket I want on the side is going to be white. So I'm thinking kind of like a white, white, black. Maybe a bit of gold. That kind of theme. So... I'm thinking a rug because the carpet as well is beige so I'm thinking maybe like white cream off-white maybe and I'll just try not to wear shoes on it at all because you know and then I'm also thinking maybe some sort of storage basket like cube sort of thing next to the mirror as well just to fill up that space a bit and give me a bit more storage. I have got my pasta on and pasta sauce cooking away. I can't wait to eat. I am literally starving. But basically, I'm not doing the Uber Eats order tonight because after I finished that bit, I went and FaceTimed my mum for a bit. And then I got all my tea on ready and I looked and it was five to six, I think. And it was still taking orders. 
but i was like surely they close soon so i looked online and they closed at six so i don't know if like the order would have been cancelled anyway but i thought that's not very fair to like do an order at five to six so it's just said now that it's back at saturday 9am so i'll probably do it at some point tomorrow so yeah i'm just gonna have my tea and then probably go to aldi because it's six o'clock now so by the time i have eaten this washed up it should be about seven ish so i'll go then and then show you what i buy but yeah i'll show you what my pasta looks like when i've cooked it it's literally really basic tomato pasta but yeah and then i've got my cheese over there so i'm so hungry but yeah i'll catch up with you in a bit this is what my pasta looks like and i've got my cheese I can't wait to eat this. It's really sunny and hot in this car, but I've just got to Aldi. The time is 10 past seven. So really I've done it in good time. There's like barely anyone here, which is lovely. So I'm gonna go in now and get everything that I need. Also, there's like flying, oh my God. There's like flying like ants. I don't know, there's just flies everywhere. I think cause it's so hot. I have just got back from Aldi. It's quarter to eight. So I think I did that in quite good time. Uh, total came to £19, six pence. So we're gonna see, see if we got our money's worth of items for that. Um, I did pick up a few frozen items that I hadn't put on my shopping list just to fill up the freezer a little bit. And then obviously tomorrow we're gonna have like a very full freezer. Let's go through what I got. Also, yes, I do have a Christmas shopping bag in July, but hey ho, right. I picked up these soft bakes chocolate chip ones. I used to love the Balvita ones. I feel like I've had these before, but I can't remember. So I thought either for a quick breakfast or like snack, that'd be nice. Um, they were one pound sixty-five for five, so a little bit pricey, I guess. But you know, crumpets. I love a crumpet. They were. 45p i think that is so good for crumpets i got chicken just a small pack because i need that for two meals and that was two pound 29 i feel like it would be cheaper to like bulk buy it and then like sort of section it off and freeze it which i will do when i'm here like for longer but for now for quickness we're just going to get a small pack i got halloumi i love halloumi but this is pricey this is wait what is grilling cheese the same as halloumi? Yeah, no it is, it is, isn't it? Okay, yeah, that was one, £1.59. I swear on the label it said halloumi, it was like £2.20 or something. Don't know if I've got the right thing, but I guess it's, a, I don't know, um, okay. <laughs> well, that's not that expensive, then. well, it is, but, you know. Again, I'm going to have that with the chicken on both meals, and I also got... A cucumber, 79p, and then I got classic pepper wraps. Probably will have to freeze these because I've already got some in the cupboard, but they're 99p and they had these like high protein ones, but they were, I think they were one pound fifteen. so not that much more expensive, but they only had six wraps in them. These have got eight and these have got 5.1 grams of protein in and I think the other ones had like 9.8 i think so if you want to fit more protein in i guess it's worth it but i just thought i want more wraps so i'm gonna get the backpack right freezer stuff i got some garden peas i got just some normal chips i also got chicken dippers because i love these ones like how much do this stuff peas are 95p i think that's good uh one of those comes top the chips were £1.49, not bad, and the chicken dippers were £1.55, I think that's really good actually. I used to have these all the time, potato wedges, lightly spiced, they are so good but I go through them quite quickly. £1.25 and I also got battered onion rings because I love onion rings. And they were £1.59, okay last bag now. I just got another little milk because I'm not having porridge as much now that it's like sort of warmer and I'm, I've got croissants as well and I've got crumpets. I'm just like switching it up a bit at the moment so got a little one of that because I do drink a lot of coffees and teas though. Also I realised we didn't have any vinegar so 
I got a vinegar. The vinegar is actually so cheap. This was 29p. I got a pasta sauce because I'm gonna have chicken pasta one night and I don't know if that's actually really gonna go, but whatever. Um, and I'll have it like in the day as well. I was just gonna get like, they do like a one pot like stirring one, but that was the same price as a jar. So I thought might as well get two meals out of it. And I also got a Graham's Dairy Protein Yogurt Raspberry. I love raspberry anything, like in yogurts and stuff, the best. Um, it's got 25 grams of protein in. But I thought I'd try this brand. This was 85p, so I don't think that's too bad to get a lot of protein in. Plus, I'm gonna have um, like I'm gonna have like a Nando's rice and halloumi tomorrow. I found this like peri peri, peri peri, however you want to say, rice. This was 59p and I'm going to have like the whole packet because I'm literally just having this. I'm going to have this, an onion, a pepper, bluey, and yeah, and that's tea for tomorrow. So that'll be super easy as well. I've never, oh, and peas, I'm going to put peas in it as well. Um, I've never like cooked that before, so hopefully it's nice, but if it is nice, then that's going to be a really good like easy meal to make. So yeah, that is everything I got. I'm gonna put it away now. And then I will probably literally just start cleaning up my room. I will quickly show you the office bit. I keep calling it an office. It's not really an office. It's just a room with two desks in, but I'll show you that bit. And I'll also show you the bathroom as well. And yeah, then we can get to cleaning my room. So this is what the bathroom looks like when you walk in. We got this little like, Storage ring here for products. Most of them are mine. <laughs> Actually, all of these two are mine. Sink, hand wash, shower. To be honest, it's not a bad shower. Like, it gets really hot. Like, I have to have it on number three on the cold setting, and that's like kind of warm enough for me. And the water pressure of it, whatever you call it, um, that's quite good as well. Then there are products, toilet roll, window, toilet and towel rail it's got a random assortment of towels on it this is the spare room i'm going to call it we have been sort of either getting ready here or obviously doing work here that chair's a bit dodgy so we got we just got like this one and that one and there's another iron stain in here like i don't know how somebody did it once there or whether it whether it was in my room first and then did it again i don't know how you manage that but and then we've got some extra storage there, which I think we're just going to use for sort of like uni stuff and like work stuff, and like stationery and all that. And then again, the state of my room. This is disgusting. I genuinely actually don't think it's going to take me that long. So it doesn't have to be perfect, but I just want things out the way. Actually, I'm going to show you what I bought from Primark first. So this is what the denim jacket looks like. I've been looking for a denim jacket in this sort of like light colour for a while and yeah it's also a little bit cropped but I did buy it in a size medium which is a 12 to 14 so it's a bit more a little bit oversized but cropped and it's sort of got like the raw cut to it but yeah it was 20 pounds now 10 pounds even for like 20 pounds I think it's quite good but it's one of them de denim jackets as well that isn't like do you know sometimes they have a bit of like rigidness to them like stiffness this one is so comfy and just like light and I feel like with because I'm always wearing like leggings and t-shirts or like like vests and stuff and I feel like this would be really nice to just throw on especially when we're like going from summer to autumn I'm so glad I found that I always feel like I when I go in looking for something I get nothing when I go in not looking for something I get something I bought this oh tranquility candle if you can see it's lavender and chamomile so i feel like more so in the evening before i go to bed as like a bit of a relaxing candle and that was two pounds again not bad and i feel like it fits the nice theme aesthetic of my room and we're just gonna start clearing stuff up i'll probably put this on time lapse but I'm gonna stick a YouTube video on and see what I can get done. I think essentially everything's gonna be shoved in drawers because it's better to be put away than the mess it is right now.
okay so i thought i'd update you on my progress so in here i've just shoved all toiletry things i do want to get an organizer for on top so some of this will be coming out of here but i just thought i'd save this for all toiletries all skincare everything basically this is like underwear and socks and stuff so you don't really want to see in there but so this is like little vests tops crops t-shirts and there's a little bit of room <laughs> for a little bit more and i actually had to swap these two drawers around um you'll see in a minute why but some jogging buttons cargos some jeans and then i had no room to put my gym stuff so i just shoved it in a bag for now and then the bottom drawer is just some denim shorts these shorts and leggings because basically there's a gap at the bottom of it so i thought i'd best put like the lightest stuff in here just in case and then then in the wardrobe my towels are just up there oh i just put all my like electrical stuff so hair dryer straighteners curler chargers all in here which i think will be okay tripod um and then i've just shoved pajamas in here also that's not real louis vuitton that is fake <laughs> like this bag as well but it fits a lot of stuff in but anyway pajamas in here because again i've got no room in there and then i'm thinking because i got a couple of jumpers with me um and i'm thinking all jumpers are gonna have to be hung up but i think this is oh my gosh i was just about to say i think that's pretty sturdy so yeah hopefully there is actually a rail at home that i could have here if i wanted so if everything doesn't fit i can use that but i think there's quite a lot of hanging space there we are looking even better now this is just some dirty washing i don't know where i put my laundry basket but i'm not sure if i threw it away or not might have to buy a new one but i started emptying the box that was down there that was full of like office things so i just started emptying it in here but that's got to go on the fridge and then i've also put my makeup bits there because i think i'm going to be doing my makeup mainly in this room started putting some stationary bits on there and that box also had a couple of posters in i haven't got the frames on them because they broke but this one of just like family and friends i need to update the photos but i was thinking if i obviously it's got a plastic thing on it right now and it's on cardboard but if i take both of them away and it's just on the white card i'm thinking blue tack it up here and then have that on there because i'm not really allowed to like have anything on the walls and then i was thinking if i get a little like cube or something i could rest this poster on top of it and get a frame for this one the plants are still in here but it's looking a little bit cluttered on here so i want to tidy that up before i put them out okay so i think final update for now um these two shopping bags need to go downstairs um, mugs need to go downstairs i think i'm going to put the crease release in the cupboard in the kitchen with the cleaning bits um just because i want to stand it upright and i have nowhere to put it I'm going to leave, this is a jewellery organiser, I'm going to leave this and these two books, I'm just going to leave them out for now. That's part of the decor which I need to like reorganise but leaving it out. That's hair stuff, uh, fake plants again, need to put them somewhere as well as the perfume and that lamp will probably stay there, that needs to be put somewhere. I'm thinking like if I do get a storage cube I feel like this would be cute on like the corner of it and then that there adds a bit of something wardrobe is pretty much done i feel like it kind of looks organized like pajamas tote bags electricals and chargers ring light tripod some handbags towels towel i'm using at the moment obviously those are going to be hung up the fake louis vuitton is behind there it's got nothing in it dirty washing obviously it's going to have to be a pile for now um that's recycling and then have a look at what I've done in the office. So um, I think I'm gonna put this vase in the kitchen or in the living room because there's not really any room for it in my room at the moment. But yeah, this is the shopping list and meal planner I've got. This is gonna go in the cupboard. Oh, and I've got another actually shopping list. They're gonna go in the cupboard, like in the drawer or something. And then I don't know if I've got any magnets, but I wanna put that up in the fridge. 
that's going up on the fridge because it is magnetic and the whiteboard pen then this is the little uni i think that looks so much better than before on this shelf this is my everyday makeup this is some extra makeup i've just got my weekly planner and pen and pencil case and then this is so cute this is what comes with the um this is from pretty perfect products which i absolutely love and they send this little like postcard with it but i thought that'd be cute as a little like decor thing so i've put my diary there and then a little book that says dream inspire create and i've got these are post-it notes but are also to-do lists i feel like if anything this just fuels my obsession with stationery but some more post-it notes a little um little what do you call this like, i don't know stationery pack scissors tape to-do list all of my notebooks i why do i have that many who knows i have a purpose for each one though so yeah, I feel like that looks so much better. That looks so cute though. So yeah, the time is now 10 past nine. I can't wait to get into my pajamas and just chill now for the night because I feel like the last few days, well, last three days, I feel like they've just been like go, 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 constant unpacking, moving, sorting stuff out. So yeah, I'm happy just to chill. It's Saturday tomorrow. We're going to go for a Toby Carvery breakfast is a bit of a end of the week thing. I do hope you enjoyed the whole moving process video. Obviously, I can't wait to do all these new vlogs of like living in a house and being back at uni. There's probably going to be some weekly vlogs coming your way and yeah, just a lot of exciting things happening. So I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.